Hello YouTube, I wanted to make a uh, video to show you what my power outage backup plan is. I bought a uh, Honda EU 2000i uh, generator online, I believe it was at uh, generatorsdirect.com. No shipping and no tax, if you're looking for one, it's the best place to get it. Um, I've got it on and running right now, it's full of gas, and I'm going to show you kind of how I have this hooked up to my house. I tried to do it the exact, the correct way and the legal way, so I'd, I'd be interested in seeing your comments if you have suggestions for how I could have done this better. Anyway, that's a yellow 12 gauge extension cord. This is about 25 feet from my house. The exhaust is facing away from the house to kind of help abate that. This extension cord is 100 feet long. And I know some of you right now are saying, oh, you're going to lose, you know, voltage. And I'll show you that in just a minute. The one thing that I did like about the generator was that it provides a very stable and clean source of power so you can charge things like laptops and cell phones and, and stuff like that. So, yellow cord coming around. I've got it plugged into a kilowatt meter. And right now it shows we're pushing about 1400 watts voltage. So it's doing 119.2 volts right now. And I'm drawing about 12 amps. The capability of the generator is about 13.6 amps, so I'm still underneath that. But I have taken the generator up to just about what it's capable of doing. But anyway, so this is another 12 gauge extension cord that I've got running to the actual generator transfer switch. The power to the house is in the off position. But even if it wasn't, these switches go from the line coming into the house and they take the power away and go make it come from the generator only so it's not sending anything back to the, the power pole. I've got four circuits that I powered and it took a little bit of doing but I kind of figured out that if I wanted to power the majority of my house and being able to um, have the little luxuries in the case of a power outage, I can't supply power to anything major like you know central heat and AC, anything like that because it's all electric down here and that's I just don't have enough generator capacity to do that. But anyway, I'll show you what I do have hooked up, and it kind of makes it, it's going to make it kind of nice when we do lose, you know, power one of these days. So, from the generator comes into my kilowatt, into the generator transfer switch, into the panel, and that's distributing it to the house. I'm in the garage right now. Um, I've got one of the garage circuits powered up, and that's providing, you know, there's a TV and stuff like that. I obviously wouldn't run that in a power outage. I've got a patch uh, that I had to kind of do, so an extension cord coming from a hot outlet going into the house, and I'll show you kind of what's going on in here. This is our second refrigerator. It's on and running, working. This is the closet where my internet and everything kind of get distributed. There's my modem and router. All that stuff is working. This is a battery backup, so I don't even lose that in the event of a power outage anyway, but that's all on and working and uh, I can show you lights are on and working and all that sort of stuff. And we'll move into the rest of the house. This is the master bedroom. I don't have a light plugged in, but I do have an outlet that's hot. But We have TV, DVD player, all that sort of stuff, and we can plug a fan and a light in. In the uh, master bath in here, I do have power on that wall over there, so I can plug a lamp in if I need to. Now, it's gonna be hard to see Unless I open the blind here and show you. There's an extension cord right there plugged into that outlet, which is hot. And my plan is that I'll have enough power to run a small window unit in addition to everything else I'm running in the house. So there's the window unit right there that I'll put into the window in the master bedroom and plug it straight in without an extension cord. But it's on and running right now, blowing nice cold air. And I'll put that in that window and we'll just kind of sequester ourselves into the... Uh, master bedroom if we lose power in the middle of the summer when it's 125 degrees outside. But anyway, so that's on and running. Again, internet, all that sort of stuff. Refrigerator in the uh, laundry room is on and running. Here's the, uh, the kitchen. Got our little kitchen TV going. Got some light in here, which is, you know, going to be kind of nice for whatever. Here's the main fridge. Lights are on. Fridge is on and running. Gonna take you on a tour of the rest of the house. Living room, got some light in here, which will be kind of nice. That's pretty much the only power I have in here. Didn't really power up the main TV because I figured if it was hot, we were gonna be back in the bedroom with the AC anyway. This is my little boy's room, and uh, we've got lights, lights and fans, closet lights are working. Those are LED closet lights, so they draw like no power. Humidifier, things like that. And then we've got kind of the guest room with light and fan going. 
So that's all being done with the generator. Uh, everything's powered only with the generator. No, no power coming from the power uh, company at all. Um, I don't really have any more wattage that I can, you know, afford to use on the generator. But in the summertime or even in the winter, it's going to make it kind of nice to uh, be able to, uh, you know, provide the little luxuries because you don't have the necessities. And again, Honda EU 2000i, drawing 1,331 watts right now. And uh, if you have any questions or uh, want to make a comment, please do so. Hope you've enjoyed the video.